Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are designing this live search functionality for our website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. In the previous video, I showed you how to design it using HTML and CSS. And this is how it looks right now. Right now, it is just showing these featured posts, but we want to add a functionality when we click on this search icon. We want to display the screen. And if you type something over here, we need to display the titles which have the in it. So here are all the posts that have the title the. So in this way, you can search for the articles over here and click on any of these uh, links and you'll be taken to that post. Now in a real website, you will have all these post titles in a JSON format. And you can go ahead and filter through the JSON data and get the results over here. Now for this example, I'll just use a simple array of objects. So let's get started. <laughs> Right here we are in the source code of our design and the first thing we will do is we will hide this section right here. So if you go back to the HTML file here we can see that uh, we have this division with the class of search results and in that we have all this uh, content. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the opacity of the search results division to zero by default. So let's go to our style.css file and let's scroll down and here is the search results division. So here I'll just type opacity and let's set it to zero. And now we can see that the division is not being displayed. But if you hover over any of these areas, we can see that we are able to click on the links. So further, let's go back and let's also set the pointer events to none. So now if you go over here and if you hover over this area, we are not able to click on the elements. Now what we need to do is we need to display it when we click on the search icon. So for that, I'll just add an active class over here. So I'll just tap search results dot active. And when we have the active class, we'll set the opacity to one and we'll set the pointer events to auto. And here we'll also have smooth animation. So I'll just tap transition and I'll just set it to all 400 milliseconds ease. All right now let's start writing the JavaScript code. So if you go to the HTML file, here we can see that we have already linked our main.js file. So let's open it. All right now let's start writing the JavaScript code. So if you go to the HTML file, and if you scroll down, here we can see that we have already linked our JavaScript file over here. So let's go to the main.js file. And uh, the first thing we need to do is uh, we need to reference uh, the search icon. So for the search icon, we have this division with the class of search icon. So let's go to our main.js file and let's tap const search icon equals document.query selector and here let's tap header main header search icon and now let's add the reference for the search results because we want to display it when we click on the search icon so for that we have this division with the class of search results so here I'll just tap const search results equals document.query selector header main header search results Right now let's add an event listener to this search icon. So I'll just tap search icon dot add event listener and let's listen for the click event and here let's create an arrow function and here we need to add the active class to the search results. So let's tap search results dot class list dot add active and now if we go back to our design and now if we click on this search icon and the search results should be displayed over here, but uh, it is not being displayed. So let's see what's the problem. Let's right click over here and let's click on inspect. And let's go to console. And here we can see that we have this error at line number seven. And it says that cannot read properties of null. So let's go back. And here on line seven, we have search results. So this is null. So let's go over here. And here we have this typo. We have these two A's over here. So I'll just fix this and let's go back. And now let's click on this search icon. And now we can see that the search results is being displayed over here. Now when we click on the search icon once more, it should disappear. So further let's go ahead and change add to toggle. And now if we click on this search icon, the search results are displayed. And if I click on it again, it goes back. So it is working all right. Now the next thing we need to do is add the search functionality. So for that let's go back. And here we will just add a simple array of objects. Alright, so here I have created this array of objects called all posts and in that we have all these titles. Now in a real website, you will have this data 
provided to you as a JSON format. So you can go ahead and do the same things that we do over here using that data. But for now, I'll just use this all posts array. Now, the first thing we will do is we will receive the input from our input field. So let's go ahead and reference that. So if you go to the HTML file, here we have this input with a class of search input. So let's reference this. Here I'll just type const search input equals document dot query selector and let's type search results search input and now let's add an event listener to this so let's tap search input dot add event listener and we need to listen to an event called input now this event will be fired when we add any text to this input field now first of all let's test it now when we use this event listener we also get some data as an argument I'll just call it E. You can name this anything you want. And here I'll just type console.log and uh, let's type e.target.value. So this will give us the value that is inside the input field. Right now let's go back to our website and let's open the console. And let's go ahead and type something over here. So I'll just type T and we can see that T is displayed over here. If I just type something we can see that every time we type something, the text is displayed over here. So we are able to access the data that we enter over here. Now let's go ahead and use this data to filter out the titles from this all posts array. So let's go ahead and delete this console.log line from here. And the first thing we will do is we will store the data inside a constant. So I'll just type const and I'll just call it query. And let's set it equal to e dot target dot value and if we scroll up here we can see that we have capital letters and small letters over here so what we will do is we will just convert everything to lowercase so that even if we type capital T or small t over here it should have the result displayed over here so let's type dot to lowercase right now let's go ahead and add an if condition over here and let's see whether we have any text inside the input field so let's tap if query and uh, let's go ahead and filter out the titles. So I'll just create a variable over here and I'll just call the variable filtered posts and by default I'll just set it to an empty array. Right now let's scroll down and here let's type filtered posts equals all posts and we will use a function called filter in JavaScript and here let's create an arrow function. Now here for each of the post, I'll just call it post. And here let's tap const title equals post dot title dot to lowercase. And then we'll just return title dot includes query. So what we are doing over here is that we are checking whether the query that we provide in the input field is included inside the title of any of these posts inside all posts. And we are just storing that inside the filtered posts array. Right now what we need to do is we need to generate the titles. So I'll just create a function for that. And I'll just call it populate search results. And we also need to change the title that we have over here to search results. So let's reference that. If you go to the index.html file, here we can see that we have this division with the class of search title. So here I'll just type const search title equals document dot query selector search results search title and let's scroll down and uh, let's type search title dot text content and I'll just set it to search results and let's add an else over here and here I'll just type search title dot text content and let's set it to featured posts Right now let's test whether this works but before that let's create this function. So I'll just type const populate search results and now let's go back and let's test whether the title changes. So let's type something over here and we can see that it changes to search results and if we delete everything from here it changes back to featured posts. Right now let's write the code to create the titles. So if we go back to the index.html file this is how the structure of the elements should look. 
we need to have this ul and in that we need to have the li and in that we need to have the anchor tag with the post link and the post title and we need to add all of this inside the results container division so let's reference this so here i'll just type const results container equals document dot query selector results container and let's scroll down and uh, here let's type const ul and we need to create a ul so let's type document dot create element ul and then we need to loop through all the items inside the filtered post and we need to create list items and anchor tags so let's use for each for that so i'll just have filtered posts dot for each and uh, for each of the posts i'll just call it p and let's create an arrow function over here and here let's create a list item so i'll just have const li equals document dot create element li and we also need to create an anchor tag so let's have const a equals document dot create element a and for the anchor tag we need to have an href so let's tap a dot href equals and for now i'll just type hash you can type the link of the post over here and then we need to add the text so let's tap a dot text content and uh, let's set it equal to p which is the post dot title and then we need to add the anchor tag inside the li so let's type li dot append child a and we need to add the li inside the ul so let's type ul dot append child li and we need to add this unordered list inside this uh, results container so let's type results container dot append child ul and before this we need to delete everything inside the results container so let's type results container dot inner html equals blank right now let's see whether this works so let's open the results container and let's type something over here and here we can see that the search results are displayed over here so if we type something the results for that search term is displayed over here but when we don't have any text over here we need to have the featured post displayed over here so for that let's go back and uh, let's go back to the html file and let's copy this ul from here and uh, let's go back to the main.js file and here in the else we'll just type results container dot inner html equals and here we'll just add the ul so let's add backticks and i'll just paste the code over here right now let's go back to our website and uh, let's click on the search icon and if we type something over here we can see that the posts are displayed over here but if you don't have any text inside the search input field then we can see that the featured posts are displayed over here so everything is working all right so that's basically how you can add this live search functionality for your website using html css and javascript all right so that's basically it for this video i will leave the link of the source code in the description and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day